I'm uh, Robert Gallo, usually called Bob, and um, I'm director of the Institute of Human Virology, University of Maryland in Baltimore. I was formerly at the National Cancer Institute, National Institute of Health in Bethesda, Maryland for 30 years. I'm 15 years as director of this inst new institute. I was invited to give this lecture while I was in Ireland, and people know that I'm going to spend a few days when I'm here you know, hunting around the South and, well, not just the South, the Yang, both sides for a few days. Uh, and I have friends here, and, um, and it will, I will attend a meeting in Dublin in a few days. So, And also, I had contact with um, Rosari Griffin before, and um, the director of the uh, Center for Global Development, and uh, I want to... So be supportive to this idea in any way I can. Well, yeah. Uh, the, well, the lecture I'll, I'll, I'll I want to talk about viruses generally, and some of the current threats by viruses. Then I'll focus on the viruses I was involved in. They're called retroviruses. The first was a leukemia-causing virus, unusual leukemia for this part of the world, but common in some other parts. And that, that led us, because of it was what we suspected would be a related virus, but with different final properties, to the AIDS virus. The, the AIDS virus is also a retrovirus, with somewhat of a relationship to the leukemia virus. And the leukemia virus led us to think about this same category of virus as the cause of AIDS. And it got me started early on in AIDS with the idea in 1982 to search for this kind of virus. The, the progress that science has made in, on, in AIDS uh, and in some other epidemic diseases and the science that we kind of need to solve the problem. And a big part of that is indeed the vaccine, as you asked. It, it's a, a very, very difficult for a scientist who wants to be optimistic to tell you we're X years or X months away from an effective vaccine. Let me say to you that Throughout the history of vaccine research, it's extremely difficult with HIV for reasons that are complicated. It's easy to tell a listener it's because there's a lot of variation in the virus. But that's true of influenza and, and many other viruses. This has maybe a little more variation. The big problem with this virus is that it puts its genes in the, t in the cell that it infects into the DNA chromosome forever. So when that cell divides, the virus genes are transmitted. So the individual is infected a lifetime. And that happens within 24 hours of exposure to the virus. So it is, I won't go into the whys except in the talk, a tremendous challenge. You have to block every cell virtually from getting infected right at the start. And the principles were not really well thought out on earlier vaccine trials, which failed. And for me, Honestly, they were predictable failures. But recently, the um, Aventis, Sanofi Aventis, a pharmaceutical company, with major collaboration from Walter Reed Army Hospital in the Washington, D.C. area, scientists from there, and in further collaborations um, with people in Thailand, have a trial that had a little bit of success. Uh, my colleagues and myself think we know why it had a little success and why it wasn't more. We think the kind of antibodies they generated don't last very long. And we think, kind of unwittingly, they made the kind of vaccine that we're deliberately trying to develop for producing a certain kind of antibody that tends to block at the gate. In other words, as the virus is coming into the cell. But these antibodies don't last very long. And I'm sure they're the levels that they produced in their trial were not that high. So they got a, a hint, and more than a hint, of some success, especially early when the antibodies were there. So we have a major collaboration with them now, with our vaccine coupled with this one, sponsored by the Gates Foundation. And I hope within a year we are in the clinic, which means the first phase, to be sure you're not 
anything harmful and then eventually to really testing extensively um am i optimistic about it i'm enthusiastic about this approach i recognize we haven't solved the problem of getting these antibodies to last i'm gambling and hoping that as we go into the first phase of this then in that year or two we'll solve the problem and and um, bring it forward quickly